Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to something different on Metis TV. This is going to be PKR.com. It is a poker game, it is uh, Texas Hold'em, and I am currently in a $6 ticket free roll because I'm a cheapskate. It costs nothing to enter, but uh, if you do actually win, I think you get like $2. In fact, let me check the info tab here. What is for first place? Does it even tell you anything? Uh, um... I guess not. Oh, prizes, okay. Uh, $1.50. Yes, I'll be rolling in the money tonight if I win this. I have been playing for quite a, a considerable amount of time. I was thinking of recording from the very beginning, but it would literally take two or so hours, and I just thought, well, what's the point, right? Let's just get down to the nitty-gritty when it's starting to get to crunch time. So there was a break, uh, because quite a lot of people have been knocked out. As you can see here where my mouse cursor is at the top right corner, um, there are 168 people left, 746 signed in to begin with, so we have lost a fair chunk of the participants, and I am position 116 out of 168, so I'm not quite in danger territory yet, but I'm definitely uh, not looking amazingly healthy either, so I have to start getting a move on. There's only another minute and 45 remaining on the break. So what I'm probably going to do is record the rest of this tournament that I play. I may get knocked out very shortly. It could even take one hand, because as you can see, I've got 1,965 on my stack, and I have a go of 12,000, have another go of 6.7, 4.8. So I am nearly the lowest stack on the table. In fact, how much does this guy have? He's got 95, so he's got, like, fuck all. Uh, and this guy, he's kind of been my nemesis. We've played a lot of hands together, and, and we've won about 50-50 over those hands. He's won a few couple nice ones, I've won a few couple nice ones. So I have uh, quite a lot of respect for this dude, he's a good player. Just to give you a bit of a background um, kind of recap on my poker abilities or lack of, uh, a year or so ago I was really into poker, I played it for money, I played it to quite a good level as well, I was a fairly decent poker player, won quite a lot on this site, um, but I haven't played for a very long time so I'm very very rusty indeed. And I just thought, well I haven't really seen any huge amounts of poker, like commentary and plays on YouTube, maybe I just haven't been looking long enough, so I thought, well, why don't I just do it? You know, if there's a bit of a void there, then maybe I could fill that in. Either way, uh, another 30 seconds, and then we are into this. As I said before, this is pkr.com. It is free to subscribe or to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Register, that's the one. Well done, Vince. You're only English. It's only your language and all. Uh, so yeah, if you want to register, I think it's free, or at least it used to be, and you can join into tournaments like this, which is completely free, and you can win a, a whole $1.50, like massive money to be won here. So uh, yeah, get yourself logged in, and if you want to play with me sometime, leave a comment below, or actually message me, tell me your PKR name, and I'll get adding you, maybe we can play a bit together in the future. Either way, break time is over, and we are into the game once again. Blinds, 125 for small, 250 for large, and you can fuck that hand right off, I'm not playing with 2-8 unsuited. No chance. So yeah, this this is kind of the poker game that I had the most fun with. I like the kind of customization that you can do. Obviously this is me. Um, I am this this staggeringly handsome chap with my shades and my back to front whatever the fuck this is, cap I guess. Um, this is, a lot of this was from PKR points, and you get PKR points for playing in real money hands. This is obviously for play money. You can play for play money if you want to, if you just want to have a bit of fun with your buddies, or you just want to try and like practice. Or you can play for real money, which obviously the clue's in the title, it's real money. So you get poker points per real money hand that you play. I think I got like three to four thousand poker points at one stage, which isn't a huge amount. Um, so I bought some of this this stuff with that. And also with poker points you can enter yourself into tournaments and stuff like that as well for real money. So I'm going to be the big blind now and 250 is quite painful to be frank with you. So um, two ace, it's it's not the worst hand to have but it's, it's definitely not great either. So I'm just going to check this, there's no point raising with two ace, unsuited. That flop is absolute dog shit for me. He has position here, so obviously he's going to see what us two are going to do, and he can, if he senses weakness, he can try and push us off this hand, which is completely understandable if he goes for that. I have a pair of twos, but there is a flush draw down here with three clubs. A pair of twos is lowest pair. There's no point for me to even entertain the fact of me staying in this hand. 
it's only going to end badly for me, so that's the reason I folded. That's uh, another fairly shit hand, but I'm small blind, so it doesn't really cost that much to just call and see what happens here. So a pair of threes, but again he's got the positioning, there's no point me raising right now. So if a two comes down, I've got a straight draw. He's checking his hand, so I don't think he's got a pair of aces, otherwise he would know that. Oh, you lucky bastard! He did nothing, and he gets he gets just to win. <laughs> it's normally indication if someone checks their hand like in a, a time like that. He doesn't have a pair of aces. You know if you've got a pair of aces. So as soon as I saw him check his hand, I was like, ah, I'm 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 uh, betting here because I know he's gonna fall, and that's exactly what he did. I'm gonna check. Here's the oh fuck you. King 7 unsuited though, it wasn't worth me going in for, especially as I'm like low stack here. I really did, I know I said oh fuck you, but there's no point looking back on hands when you folded, that should just be it. should be like looking to the next hand, there's no point thinking oh I folded King 7 and like two kings and a 7 comes down on the flop when you had a full house. It's like, yeah well you didn't call it for a good reason, King Seven's not a good hand to have, that's why you folded, stick with that choice. Six four suited. This is the kind of hand that I would play if I had more money on the table. Right. Well, I'm definitely not going to call that. I'm hoping this guy does though, or one, or this guy does. One of you call him. He's thinking about this, like really seriously. He's thinking about this. thing is though you have to respect this guy because he he's been very passive there's different kinds of poker players you got like the aggressive you got the bullies you got the passive kind of players that are going to fold anything that shit like I'm doing right now but it's kind of forced because I don't have much money to play with so he's been very very passive in this game thus far and whenever he's put a bet in and we've seen his cards he's always had good cards so that's the reason why he got the respect of those two players who could easily actually call that. I mean, he got 13k against 1.7k and he went all in. He could have called that and been just fine. But he respected the player because he was like, oh, he's been really passive. Every time he's gone in, he's had good hands. It's not worth doubling him up here. But on the other side, if you're very, very passive for a long period of time, it makes your bluffs even more kind of effective because everyone is assuming you have a hand so that when you don't have a hand and you bluff, it's even more powerful than an aggressive player who bluffs all the time. Okay, let's go. My bet. So he's continuation betting. He bet the first time he didn't want to look weak, so he came out again. He's possibly had like a 10 or an ace there, but either way, he's uh, what, like triple, quadruple the amount this guy has. It's just not worth even trying to, to stay in hand if he's going to play aggressive there. Oh. Okay, let's go. That's mm. Hmm. I'll bet small. I call the turn. check. See I'm regretting betting small there. I should have either gone really big or just not bothered. Okay, let's go. I think one of these has got like a 6 or a 4. Or they have nothing and they just called like... with fuck all. Really? Okay guys. All in. 7 9 suited. I'm gonna call. Seven nine of clubs. That is a devastating flop for me. Yeah, he's bullying me out. 
I didn't think he had anything there. I did not think that guy had anything at all, but the thing is that he has such a higher amount of chips than me that I, I can't... F like, what did he bet? Like four or five hundred? To me that's a lot of chips at this point, so... Again, it's it's not needlessly being aggressive when you don't need to be. So I'm checking up there on the next break, this is kind of my... Um, the way that I'm gonna know what time it is. When this gets to like, next break, 25-30 minutes, I'm going to round off this part and then I'm going to continue with the next part as like a, a, an extra uh, segment shot. of this PKR Let's Play. Because I realize that poker is probably not the most entertaining thing to watch okay, in the sense that go. there's not... Like, I can't talk about loads of shit that's going on because <laughs> I'm just stood here with my finger in my ass like waiting for a good hand. Maybe if I get like a royal flush or something then I can jizzle over the screen but until that point it's going to be fairly... Uh, it's going to be fairly chilled and relaxed. Oh, pocket twos. This is, oh, this is a terror hand to have. This is a terror hand to have. You don't want to limp in, but I just I don't have the kind of strength right now to. Uh, that one v one's not bad. Hmm. Okay, he checked his hand. So he's on a straight draw, probably. <laughs> or he's got an ace, and I just got fucked in the ass. He's gonna bat. Okay, no, he's not. Why? Why are you calling with nothing? You called. That bet with three and eight offsuit, what the fuck are you doing? You had me thinking you had an ace. It's your turn. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, oh my god, dude, Come that on. was the worst play ever. Oh. I genuinely thought he had me beat. Why would you check and then call a raise of the pot? Why would you do that with nothing? What? All in? Okay. Fair enough. Cool. Wow, three players in. Could be interesting. Oof. I, I can't even guess what he has. He has a pair of four. Oh! <laughs> Get dunked off that queen. Get fucking dunked. I'm gonna feel a bit sorry for him, he was a good player. And this guy seems trash to me. It's your turn. I'm gonna call it. Cool. I could I could regret calling this, but I'm gonna check. Here comes the flop. I have position over this guy though. I have position, he checked. Could be slow playing. Mm, that was a quick call from him. Just making sure I didn't have clubs. <laughs> oh god, that is... That's fucking terror, that last card. Fucking river. Oh my god, that river card. He probably had me beat anyway, to be honest. That wasn't a great hand for me. Um, I misread his instant check for weakness and he just like called my race. So that was kind of poor for me, but at the same time, I thought he was going to fold that. Cool. But, uh, sometimes you win those hands and sometimes you lose them. It's just kind of the way that poker goes. It wasn't a good play for me though. Don't do this at home, kids. That was a bad, bad play. So if I get a 4, then I've got a straight. But the chances of a 4 coming down, very, very small. She has enough chips to bully us here. She'll probably raise this. No, she's not going to raise it. Oh! Oh, God, I'm all in. Thank you. The reason I went all in, guys, um, because there are two hearts and there's two clubs down or whatever. 
So there was two uh, flush draws on the cards, and I did not want to allow either of them to get to that point. If they're going to call for me, if they're going to call me, they were going to have to pay for that, and they were going to have to play for the hope that something would have landed. I wasn't giving them a free journey there. Basically, is what I'm saying. And I had the straight, so at that time I had the uh, what's what's the term, the nuts, whatever you want to call it, like the best possible hand. Um, I'm gonna call it. Suited connectors is always a, a nice way to go. Don't you dare raise this. Don't you fucking dare. Dairy Queen from Australia. Fold. Are you actually taking the piss? Suited connectors and three diamonds come down. He's won this hand. He's he's gonna raise it now. He's in a place of power. Yeah, he's not. What can you do? Oh, ten ace. It's not a great hand because it's not suited, obviously. But ten ace and six man tables, pretty strong actually. It's one of the good things about six six person tables is that it it's more frenetic, more like fast paced action because the blinds are quicker and everything else. And good hands mean more here because there's less people that you have to beat out. He checked that a lot of times. He was really thinking about that. So ten ace. Not a brilliant hand, but it's not too bad. It's one of the best hands I've had for quite a while. Oh, you beauty. So now I'm going to bet the pot. The only worry for me now, and the reason I'm betting the pot for quite a large amount, is because someone could have a better kicker than me. Kicker means your second card, so if I have an ace-ten and someone has an ace-jack, they will beat me. So I'm quite happy that they both folded that. Because that was my concern that one of them had like an ace queen hand like that. In which case they would have beat me. Pocket nines. Well they respect me though because I've been betting quite a lot recently. I'll just uh, I always don't know what to do with these kind of hands. Pocket eights, pocket nines, they're really tough hand to play well because if you raise too much, you, you put yourself in a really awkward position. But if you do nothing, then you're in a weak position. That's quite a good flop for me. I don't okay, think that either go. of these has a three. So he's betting, but I'm gonna raise it. If he has a three, then it's just like, well fuck this. It would be an instant call or re-raise if he had a three. Yeah. If he had a three, he'd just be like all in. You know, he wouldn't think twice. Oh, you kidding me? I've been raising so much that no one's going to give me any credit now for if I re-raise this. Nobody will. So I'm just going to call it. This is bad. Four people in with pocket sixes, that's that's just weak. Oh my god, especially that flop. That flop is dog shit for me. Check. Because that lowers my possibility of winning. If a six comes down but it's a club, the chances are that one out of these other three players have a club and therefore I will lose. So really right now the only card that I can hope to land is the six of six of hearts. And it's not worth, it's really not worth me putting another 400 into this pot. And that's why you should re-raise with pocket pair like sixes. And I played that bad. You either re-raise it or you just get out. You don't limp in. So we are down now to the last 96. 
and I'm position 70th. So, I mean, I've still got a fair amount to play with. If I double up, I'm going to be in a really, really strong position at this point. But I am definitely in uh, the lower pack of players at this point as well. Oh. So 746 signed up. I've beaten a lot of them. But um, ideally I want to get on that final table and I want to win this. A lot of poker is about patience though. If you play high progressive, eventually you're going to get caught out and you're going to get knocked out of the tournament. It's as simple as that. So you have to be patient, you have to pick the right opportunities, and obviously there's a fair amount of luck involved as well. You can get bad beats on the river, on the turn card and such, it's just the way it goes. King 3 is just... it's a horrific, horrific hand. So I'm just going to check this, no point re-raising. Okay, let's go. I mean that flop is is uh Well if a ten comes okay, down go. I'm happy to just let this one go out, to be honest. Fine. There you go. Totally fine. He can win on pocket eights, uh not pocket eights, sorry, pair of eights. I am totally fine with that. It's worth calling for two hundred. Is this guy like permanently DC'd or something? <gasps> wow. Is everyone on this table Australian? No. Uh, what did I have? Eight and nine. It's so, like these three are Australian, okay? Fuck that. <clears throat> wow. Come on, dude. I can feel myself fucking aging over here. Take a drink. I apologize if you can hear this, but hey, I'm thirsty. I think I'll raise. I think I'll raise. Call. Hmm. Possibility for a uh, straight flush here. That would be quite interesting to watch. Hopefully, someone's got a nine and queen of spades, or of course a seven and nine of spades. Both would be ideal. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's me all in. Oh. What? The river. Eat this. What? What did you just do? What did you just do? Okay. That was... That, oh my god. That was a train wreck. Oh my god. Oh, oh Jesus. I can only assume he lost the will to live. Twenty four K, fuck off. <laughs> it's just like big stack, little stack. I'm gonna have to double up a couple times here now. I'm gonna have to start shifting the gears because I am near the bottom of the pile at this point. I mean yeah, I've beat a lot of players, but I'm starting to get into that real red zone at this point. So the next good hand I have, I'm going to have to go probably all in. Or I'm going to have to try and bully off a few pots. But unfortunately, if I keep getting dog shit hands like this, then I can't do that. Because no one's going to be scared of an 8-7 unsuited. Q 
Come on, dude. Okay, let's go. Check. Actually, let's have a quick look at the info tab then. Let's see how it's going down at the moment. A lot of people on four or five thousand chips. Um, here's me, seventy first. But if I was to double up, I would be around the 50 mark, so I'm not that Bye, far away. Man. Fucking hell, top stack 56k. My god. I mean, 56k makes these both look like bitches. And they must be in the top 10. Their yeah, all risk is 6th. And this other guy is 15th. So the big blinds, well, both the blinds have gone up, and of course I'm going to hit the big blind and get 10-3 offsuit. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. And 600 is hurting. I mean, that is hurting bad. Go and fold it. Give me free money. Go on, dude. Be a good guy. Three tens, go on. <laughs> he doesn't have a pair of aces, otherwise he wouldn't be checking his cards. This has been like the worst hand of poker ever. Just the fucking worst. Gonna go all in. He probably has an ace, you know. Get bluffed, bitch. Oh. That was kind of lucky, because if he was slow playing an ace, I was out. But, like I said, I have to start making a few moves now. I have to start being a bit riskier. Especially in the big blind. I didn't want to give that away. He was playing very, very weak in that hand. So, let's say, he was either playing really, really slow and smart and trying to catch me out, or he had nothing. And as it turned out, he had absolutely nothing. This will be my last hand and then I'll close off this part. I'll start recording straight away afterwards. I'll get to the very end of this tournament whether I get knocked out very quickly or not. Uh, I'm going to call that because I've already got the small blind in. Got a king. It's not... Oh, Jesus Christ. Just like... Just these flops, man. See now I'm playing mega weak because I just I I can't be bluffing with this amount of money now. If I bluff, it's like a commitment. It's your turn. <sighs> Again, I'm think I want to bluff. I don't want to play like the weakest shit ever. And if she has any brains, she'll raise this. It's a smart play. She knew I was weak. But I if I okay, well she had three sixes. I don't feel so bad anymore. She played that mega slow. Anyway guys, I'm going to head this one off. In fact, let's have a quick look at what my hand is. What's my hand? Shit. So I'll fold that. going to bring it off here, guys. And I'm going to go instantly live again, obviously. Um, need to split this into two separate parts. So I hope you've enjoyed this first part of PKR.com. I'll be right back after this. So until next time, which will be very shortly. See you later.